tens was go crypto investing remember bell notification like the channel subscribe and share to get all that information you needed on what shyster coins to sidestep and audible and education and information most importantly you need to conquer our mission into financial freedom and stability as we go through our journey and uh, mission on asset acquisition the most important thing you can know on here when you're trying to invest and to make money and has most of these channels try to promote to get rich quick scheme uh, but that's not uh, what you need to be doing what you need to be doing is slow and steady educational process and information of asset acquisition every asset you acquire the more and further along you'll be into that financial freedom that you seek and desire most importantly each asset that you acquire you're one step closer to becoming financially free and to have that uh, income and lifestyle that you want but the education and information and knowledge comes first and then you have to set that game plan out most importantly and then execute set game plan and continue to grow and continue the knowledge and continue the understanding of what you're trying to do and why you're trying to do it to get to the place that you'd most desperately need and want to get to and sidestop the fleece heisters and shysters just like you need to sidestop the charlatans as we take a look at coin market cap and look at what's been going on here briefly as we start uh, our new episode today off with our coin market cap on the screen taking a look at uh, the pumps and the dumps and coin market cap Here's the Bitcoin market cap right here, followed by the XRP market cap, followed by uh, the top 25 uh, coins, top 30 coins based by market cap. And we notice some ups and downs and placements of where they've been. And then as we move along to some breaking news, as we have breaking news as part of this, and you need to know this because this is education and information. Uh, most importantly, you can see local Bitcoin closes trading platform after a decade. Let's take a look at what that is. News story number one out of Bit uh, bullshit site probably. But let's see via offer blah blah blah. Local Bitcoins joins the list of fallen companies. Local Bitcoin were created 10 years ago as one of the industry's first peer-to-peer -peer Bitcoin trading platform. The platform enjoyed popularity, adoption, low transaction fees, non-custodial wallet, and ability to trade anonymously. Most importantly, the latter feature was changed due to uh, regulatory pressure that forced local Bitcoins to impose a know your customer KYC policy in the United States in 2019 controversial and drove some customers to the company's competitors from being heisted, fleeced, and shysted by these charlatans and uh, hooligans out there that are looking to take your Bitcoin hackers, stole a record $3.8 billion worth of cryptocurrency globally last year, led by thieves tied to North Korea, according to the blockchain analytics firm that tracks cyber criminals. Researchers called 2022 Biggest year ever for crypto hacking, 3.3 billion stolen in 2021, bringing a two-year running mean of nearly $7.3 billion stolen on the crypto sphere. North Korea stole more, more <clears throat> clear throat old Vincenzo. North Korea stole more cryptocurrency assets last year than any other year during the Corona virus pandemic. U.S. investors. Uh, poured millions into Bitcoin, Ether, Dogecoin with uh, Saturday Night Live, Hysteria, and most of those fortunes were lost due to hackers with digital wallets uh, on platforms that they shouldn't have been on because they had low security and high risk of losing everything, right? So that's a lot of money, $7.3 billion roughly being stolen. Crypto exchange, Binance, which is the outflows. But I would be taking uh, note of that, uh, that this is some things that keep continuing to happen. And I think it's a chink in the armor and something that I would be very cautious of if I had my money on Binance. We are temporarily suspending USD bank transfers as of february 8th finance spokesperson shyster told corporate media propagandist machine c on nbc uh, affected customers are being notified directly the customer said 0.01 percent of our monthly activity 
users leverage USD bank transfers and added that we were working hard to restart service as soon as possible, end quote, from a Binance spokesperson to the corporate media. Binance, USA unit uh, of the company's regulated Treasury Department financial crimes, mm -hmm. crimes enforcement, and yeah, see, the network said in a tweet, because uh, that's where we go for our $369.69. But we got a ways to go to get down there because I think this is a multi year bear market that started back here. And this red line's where the Fed started tightening. This green line's where the Fed started to uh, monetary fiscal stimulus. And you can see the reaction as Bitcoin trades and is a risk asset, no matter what these shysters try to say, it's the new currency, it's the digital gold, it's this, it's that. It's just a uh, risk asset on steroids where it goes way up and goes way down quicker. You can see the Fed started monetary fiscal stimulus, it pumps. The Fed starts. Uh, rate hikes, it crashes, right? Just like a risk asset. And now you're running up to major upper resistance. But I think this has a date and a destiny with a long period of time in this red trading zone or orange trading zone, aka last line of defense to the shithouse, just like it did right here. Look at all this time it's spent in here. It's spent a, quite a long time in there before I move up. But what I think it's going to do this time is you can see we have a left shoulder ahead it's going to trade in here for a long time as the right shoulder and then it's going to break down out of this head and shoulders massive topping reversal pattern and that could drive the bitcoin price essentially all the way down to where uh the rest in peace zone is and we're going to put these on as the new coins this is the rest in peace zone and we're going to make the rest in peace zone a heavenly blue because that's where these uh fleece heisters and shysters have been leading you for a very, very long time. The heavenly parts and pits of despair, as this will be the area of the rest and peace zone, right? And I think if this is the actual pattern that Bitcoin's playing out, where you have a massive head and shoulders topping reversal pattern ever since the first pump, and if you look at this in hindsight, if this does happen into the future, what this was was this was the left shoulder back here. This big bull market that capitulated with a double top was the head and now we're forming the right side of the head going into the right shoulder is what this long consolidation is going to be and then a technical target would be from the top to the bottom to the point of a breakout and that gets you to the floor and the floor is the bottom of the rest in peace zone and i'm breaking news to you old vincenzo is predicting in some alternate universe that we are currently living in uh we're going to have a head and shoulders uh break to the downside in the next one to two years and this head and shoulders break to the downside is going to be a rest in peace to the cryptocurrency and the youtube shysters and fleecers and heisters like carl from the moon crypto crow crypto crow uh i'm on crypto and the rest of these fleece are bit boy crypto and a fleece a heister like that they will all be weeded out and be gone because that is the rest in peace moment and that's what this whole organization and the whole crypto sphere is missing out that these have a date with all the rest in peace zones and i'm trying to prevent this from happening to the people that follow me via the education and information like subscribe and share to get these breaking news and industry first calls that nobody else is making you go show me a channel that's uh, predicting a rest in peace crash for the crypto market over the next one to two years and a Bitcoin bottom of $12.57. You go find that to me and show it to me. It's not out there. And this video will age appropriately as we work our way through the next 12 to 24 months. And then we work our way closer and closer to 2025 where that $12.69 target will be met and will be hit.